Okay, it's time to puff up your shoulder pads and frizz your perms, ladies, along with Stock and Aitken. Our next guest defined the pop sound of the 80s, writing and producing songs for stars including Rick Astley, Dead or Alive, Jason Donovan and Kylie Minogue. He now has high hopes for winning this year's Eurovision with his new protégé, Josh Dubovi, with the song That Sounds Good To Me. So me. Welcome, Pete Waterman. <laughs> hello, hello. That's good. Hello, hello. How are we doing? You all right? Marvellous. Now, how's it been being involved with Eurovision again? Because this isn't your Traumatic. first time. Really? <laughs> Traumatic. You'd think you'd be used to it by now. No, you never get used to Eurovision. They're all experts. OK. You know, it's like you get hate mail. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, yes. They, people take it very serious. And how know? do you think we're going to do this year? <laughs> yeah, well, we're going. <laughs> well, when you say they, who do you the mean? Fans. The, the fans, These the audience. These people have the, you know, the Euro parties. You know, they take it very serious. You know. So if you don't win for them, they. Oh, we're dead. <laughs> so are you confident? No. no. Oh, <laughs> Quietly not. not. <laughs> I think that's a great Eurovision track. It's got a great beat. You can dance to it. That's what people want. Waterloo, Bucks Fizz. That was all that. Sort of 80s, well, it wasn't 80s, ABBA were, but uh, mm. no, there were there was 80s. 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 I don't know what I'm Just forget I ever said anything like that. <laughs> but it's got that disco beat. That's what people want in that Eurovision. Well, isn't we it? think it's good, and you know, we've we've had amazing response to it. But yeah. you know, it's Eurovision. Yeah. Yeah. Who knows? And you, you've teamed up with Mike Stock for this. Yes. Yeah. I mean, you know, if you if you you've got to bring in the greatest team around, you know, it's. Um, He's the guy that, that makes it work. I mean, I'm just a front, you know. <laughs> Are you? I, well, I know, I'm not sure I should be the front for this, actually. <laughs> uh, no, it's been a lot of fun, but yeah. it is traumatic. Cos, I mean, we only had six hours. I mean, yeah. those poor kids, before the actual show live, they'd had six hours to learn the song. I mean, you know, we didn't know who was going to win. And so, you, you know, you, you slightly rewrite the song and trying to make it work. Yeah. You know? And they're in front of, you know, they're going to be in front of 300 million well. people. There's you know. a lot of yeah. sitting around beforehand, you know, and you're in this big, big room with everyone, all trying to outsmart each other. You know, mentally, it must be very challenging. Apart from, the, you know, the, the performing itself, how are you going to keep him together? Well, I'm going in the leotard. Great. <laughs> and, uh, Distraction. Yeah, yeah Mike's going as a gorilla. <laughs> <laughs> Where well, is it? That's the way they get votes. Isn't it? They dress it, up it as silly it's things. It's you know. It's yeah. in Oslo this year. It's isn't Oslo, it? is it? Yes. Uh, yeah. And you're going. You're actually yeah. going. Good. Oh, well, BBC are paying for it because I'm going. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. There you go. No, so we're not going to make any money out of it. Well, you always thought that the trouble is that Europe, in essence, is is. Um, a bit envious of the Brits, because the one thing you can't do in French, really, or Italian or Spanish or any of these languages, is do rock and roll. And my theory has always been that they don't like us because they all try to do rock and roll, have you noticed, badly, because it doesn't go with the language, whereas we can do rock and roll, as does America. So they're out to get us, really. What about Ricky so they... Martin? I think he's fabulous. I mean, no, he's not exactly rock and roll, but, you know... He's... Well, yeah, but he, but he doesn't do that, that... They all try to do these big numbers, which yeah. are just awful, but they all seem to recognise that, and they all united against us, so we just need to get back into... Well, that's that your theory. It. Yeah. <laughs> Would you like to write next year's entry? I'm, right? sure, I'm sure I can right? get you the job, honestly. <laughs> well, this, is, this, is, this is good because this is back to they, what they, you know, this is back to mm. giving in in the standard we expect in England, it, but it gives Europe a catchy tune. That's yeah. Fine. The trouble is, everybody's got a version. You know, they've got, you know, when you're writing it, they go, well, you want it sort of catchy, mm. but not too yeah. catchy. Yeah. You want it soft but loud. <laughs> you want it sort of quirky but serious. It's got to be folk but rock. But you're you're good at this sort of thing because you know we, we mentioned you know Rick, lovely Rick Astley, Dead, of, Dead or Alive, um, Mel and Kim, Sunita of course who, you know she, she did song for Europe as well, Sonia she's already done Eurovision. Uh, let's take a little trip down memory lane whether you like it or not. <laughs> <laughs> We wouldn't have 
it wasn't for you. Yeah. yeah, I wish you could enter the Eurovision. What was the best bit about those days, though? Because, you know, I was right there in the thick of it in the 80s and all those songs coming out. What was the best bit for you? What was oh, the highlight? Just, it was great. It was just hard work. I mean, you know, mm. I look back now and can't remember any of it, except it was hard work, but it was great work. Well, finding Rick Astley was your tea boy. Yes, he was a tea boy, yeah. <laughs> we, we actually had him on a youth opportunity training scheme and I had to pay him 12 quid and the government paid him 24 quid. <laughs> and he lived with me in Crouch End. It was fantastic. You know, you look, you look back. He's the only, yeah. he's the only youth opportunity kid ever to get five million paycheck. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, he did. Well, I mean, obviously we touched on there. You know, you've you've discovered some great artists. We are going to to give our ladies a little test on how well they know your pop music. Oh. So, are you are you guys ready for this? You, you and Pete, you and I are going to adjudicate. Okay. Okay. Uh, but Jane, you're going to go first. Oh, right. uh, basically, what we're going to do is see who is a, a waterman's wonder. Right. And we're going to play a little song, and you have to carry on singing once oh, the music no. stopped and get the lyrics <laughs> right. <laughs> okay, Jane, off you go. Never gonna let you down. Never gonna run around and desert you. Yay! <laughs> Dare I say it, Carol? You're gonna have to sing. Uh, here we go. Here's Carol's song. What is it? Just played me. They were trying to stitch me up. Pete, oh, tell us what it is. It's her song. Toy Boy. It is. It's Sunita, Sorry, 1987. Sunita. Toy Boy. Okay. <laughs> um, oh, do God. you know, just because of the extreme lack of effort, we're going to give you a prize anyway. There you go. Oh, okay, that's for you. <laughs> Linda Bellingham, are you ready? No. Okay, if you'd like to play Linda's song. So lucky, 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 lucky. That's all I need. Oh, they, they, <laughs> they all win a prize. Now, Linda, yours is a little bit wonky, but I think you've all been <laughs> Waterman's <laughs> Wonders today. You're a wonky Waterman's <laughs> Wonder. A wonky Waterman's Wonder. Yeah. <laughs> 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 that was difficult. Yes, yeah, I didn't even know. I'd have thought yeah. it'd be obvious for you to think of. Toy, toy boys. Well, yeah, things. I might have known. Oh, yeah, okay. I couldn't guess. <laughs> so, Pete, when, <laughs> when, you when are you jetting off to Oslo? Uh, Thursday. Okay. Yeah. And, uh, did, well, you... volcano permitting. <laughs> yeah, of course. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. That's the thing. Is yeah. you know they've all gone this week just yeah, in case. Yeah, of course. You're gonna have the best time. It's yeah. the yeah. best party. You might have another number one with this. That'd be nice, wouldn't it? Just yeah, as long as you don't get Neil Pryor, you'll be fine. Yes. It'll be fine. Pete Waterman, everyone. Yeah. <laughs> OK, that's it for today. We'll see you tomorrow at 12.30. Have a good day, whatever you're doing. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.